humble peasant to empress of the Russian Empire, Catherine the First's story is one of a survival, love, and power. But did you know she was the first woman to rule Russia? Let's uncover her incredible journey and her groundbreaking reign. Catherine I was born as Marta Skavranska in 1684 to a poor family in what now is Latvia. Orphaned as a child, she worked as a maid and lived in an unremarkable life until the, Peter, uh, the Great Northern War changed her fate. Captured by the Russian forces in 1702, she was brought into a household of Russian officers and eventually entered the service of Alexander Menshikov, Peter the Great's closest ally. It was there that she met Peter. Despite their very different social statuses, Catherine won Peter over with her intelligence and warmth. She became his confidant, traveling with him on military campaigns and helping to stabilize his fiery temper. In 1712, Catherine and Peter were officially married. Their bond was so strong that Peter crowded her, uh, crowned her empress consort in 1724, an unprecedented move that prepared her for the role she would take after his death. Peter the Great's death in 1725 left Russia without a clear heir. Catherine, with the support of the powerful military guards and uh, advisors like Menshikov, ascended the throne as Russia's first female ruler. Her two-year reign from 1725 to 1727 was marked by continually instability. Catherine established the Supreme Privy Council, which became the empire's main governing body, signaling a shift towards more collective decision-making. She also supported Peter's reforms, ensuring that his vision for modernizing Russia continued. One of her most notable contributions was her support for education and science. Catherine uh, funded the Russian Academy of Sciences, which became a cornerstone of intellectual development in Russia. Although she lacked Peter's energy for sweeping reforms, Catherine's warm personality and ability to delegate effectively kept the empire stable during a critical transition. Catherine faced immense personal challenges during her life. Of the 11 children she had with Peter, only two survived, Anna Petrovna and Elizabeth Petrovna. Her daughter Elizabeth would later become Empress of Russia, continuing the legacy of strong female rulers. Catherine's reign ended with her death in 1727, just two years after taking the throne. Though her rule was short, it was significant. She not only maintained Peter's reforms, but also broke barriers as the first woman to rule Russia. Her reign set the stage for the Age of Empresses, a period dominated by powerful female rulers like Elizabeth and Catherine the Great. If you're fascinated by stories of powerful women in history, changing moments, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more historical deep dives. Your support helps bring these stories to life. Now it's your turn. Who do you think the most remarkable female leader in history? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for joining me to explore Catherine First incredible story. Her life reminds us that resilience and determination can overcome even the greatest odds. See you next time for another fascinating journey into history.